Today we're going to talk a little bit about a very important piece of equipment in our shop. This is a swing frame bender that uh, we sell on our website and it's composed of several parts. A lot of people don't know much about swing frame benders so in this video I'm going to talk just about the basic elements, components of the swing frame bender. And in uh, other videos that we've got in the library I go through and bend all different types of material. So uh, to start with the swing frame bender has a main frame. It's a fixed frame that you can bolt down to a table or uh, clamp to a vise. It has a pivot point upon which you could use as a bending form by itself. This is uh, stainless steel pins, very, very strong. And then we have different types of form dies that you can put on the top that I'll talk about later. Uh, this is the swing frame of the bender. Obviously it moves around this center pin. There is also a degree bar below that allows you to read uh, degree of bend. And degree of bend is basically how much you're bending apart. So at the top, this in we I have this set up for top bending, meaning that anything that you're going to bend is going to go on top of the frame. There is top bending, and then there is interior bending. There is a difference with top bending. You can bend parts much more quickly, but it's not quite as strong. And if the part gets too large it will tend to induce twist in the bender. In that case, you have to go in between into the interior part of the bending bender, which is far stronger. What you see in front of you are the three basic, par basic parts of a bender. The clamp die, the form die, and the pressure die. When a piece of material is bent, it is held between the clamp block and the form die, and then the pressure die comes up to the part that you're going to bend and that's how you impose the bending forces upon the part. Uh, many different types of materials can be bent. Non-ferrous, ferrous, ferrous uh, many shapes can be bent with the bender and in uh, the other videos that we've got on the, in the library I go through many different types of materials that can be bent. But for our purpose today, this description of the bender allows you to at least understand when I speak about the various elements uh, what it is that I'm talking about. Thanks for watching.